Blastoise. What is going on, fellow Packbusters? It's Adam. Some night of the week, probably Thursday. Uh, coming at you with our weekly Hydro Pump business update. Uh, kind of talk to you about the state of Pokemon. Uh, what we've gotten from our distributor this week. Uh, what I've gotten from talking to others. And kind of what is uh, transpiring here over the next couple weeks. So, um, with that, it's this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we have a rather amazing, in my opinion, um, PSA middleman submission. So, um, here at Hydro Pump, we do uh, PSA... Uh, middleman submissions, we do it with uh, CGC as well, and soon to be uh, BGS submissions as well. And uh, we, through a roundabout way, not going to get into it because we'll be here all night, um, got um, in contact with somebody here locally that had a huge collection. And uh, this will be the first submission that we do for them, and I just kind of wanted to show it off. I told them that uh, we would highlight this uh, just because it is, it's a really cool collection. Uh, I don't know how many people have seen these cards before. And uh, we just wanted to show them off. They said that that was totally cool that we would do that. And um, so we're going to talk Pokemon business. We're going to talk PSA cards. Uh, we're going to talk about, um, you know, what to look forward to here coming up. So with that, I'm just going to, you know, show the cards off. Uh, you can look down below. And I'm going to be up somewhere in the corner thing. Um, but um, so this week, nothing came out, right? So you had uh, Shining Fates. Last week, Shining Fates was awesome. Um, some places, such as GameStop, did get their product late. Uh, we always pre-order a little bit from GameStop because the guys in Gals here locally are... Um, they help us out a lot. Um, we help them out a lot, too. Uh, trying to... Um, you know, we spend some, some decent money in there. Video games, cards, that kind of stuff. And uh, we like to keep money local as well and um you know spend some some time and money there but we haven't gotten ours in i know that other people have but um we uh you know we survived i think we sent out 100 over 100 orders uh 100 different packages uh fulfilled you know like 130 orders over the weekend uh so it was really tough and then, um, like we had stated before, like we're getting everything in four waves, just like everybody else is, and we weren't told when the first wave was going to be, or the second, third, etc. was going to be, and we found out yesterday that the next wave is of ETBs, at least, were getting shipped to us this week. So, uh, we'll get more out this weekend. So, as soon as I get that product in, I have a little bit of time. I do have a lot of stuff going on at work this week. Um, but, uh, as soon as we get those, uh, we'll get some more out. I'm hoping to get about another 20 to 30 total orders out. Uh, the big holdup right now is the pin collection. So now next thing, right? What's, what is next on the docket for releases for Pokemon? So that would be the Pikachu binders, 25th anniversary binders. So we did get our allocations this week. It was a lot higher than we thought it was going to be, but we still have not, um, really come up with the best way to handle that. We've talked about using them as giveaways during breaks. We've talked about using them as prizes during mystery breaks. Uh, we've talked about raffling some off to help us open up the card shop. Um, I've also thought about holding onto a couple and selling them or uh, raffling them off for charity once we have the full um, set at the end of the year taken care of. Um, lots of stuff like that. So not a hundred percent sure how we're going to do those. We did get a lot more than we thought we were going to. And, um, you know, we'll work through that. So join the discord, uh, so you have the latest and greatest on what we're doing with those. Um, but I, I do think we're going to come up with some ways because we want to make it fair. Um, I thought we were going to get cut way harder than we did. Um, and we didn't. So I was super excited about that. Uh, just because I think the binders are going to be super tough. Um, it's a little bit harder to just keep manufacturing and printing binders and all that kind of stuff so um yeah that's a good one next uh darkness ablaze booster box restocks we're probably not gonna have extras uh we did get through all uh we'll probably finish up within the next week with the last of the booster boxes that need to go out i think two more still have to be fulfilled and go from there but the big news that happened this week um 
Vivid Voltage restock is going to be late. So uh, the December print run was supposed to be out in December. Obviously, you know that that didn't happen because we didn't get them until January. Um, all the January ones were fulfilled, which was super awesome uh, that we did get enough to make sure that all of those were fulfilled. And then um, we were supposed to get another one in January, but the January one didn't happen. And then February, it's the 23rd as the day of me, um, you know, making this video and we still don't have them, but we were also told to not expect them. They could be, they could just show up at any time but not to expect them any time before um, Battle Styles. So that'd be the 19th of March, but most likely it'll be pushed back to like the beginning of April time frame. So uh, we are going to, we're, we're trying to devise the best email possible and we're trying to figure out our whole bang list thing on the website. But uh, we are going to, uh, those people that had paid for the January ones, I know y'all have been waiting very patiently. Uh, but we're going to offer a couple of um, ways to deal with those. So uh, if it's uh, shifting it to battle styles, booster boxes, uh, front of the line for that, or if it is uh, just canceling your order in general, uh, we will uh, we'll work on that and, and kind of you know, get with you about what you want to do because we know that money is tight for most people and there are tons of places that you can buy Pokemon and if Vivid Voltage is what you really want, then you know we'll get it to you. You know we'll get we'll get you your money back so you can go elsewhere uh, for people that actually do have it in stock and or you know maybe slightly higher. But we do appreciate all of you and your business, and we just want to make sure that all of you are happy. Um, the Galarian Rapid Dash boxes were announced this week. Those look really cool. I know the kids are going to be all about those, so um, keep an eye out for that. That's really cool. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to them. We were, we pre-ordered a bunch of them, but those don't come out until May. And then we are like in that kind of final three week countdown before, um, battle styles comes out. So that's going to be huge. Uh, we do have the first, um, the first starter box coming out here and then we should have our allocations hopefully soon. Cause I like it when we have them sooner rather than later for the premium collections and for the mini tins for Shining Fates. So you do have all that stuff going around. But uh, that's it for product. We didn't get anything new in this week. Uh, we did restock binders. We restocked um, top loaders. We restocked on different uh, Dragon Shield sleeves. So those are up on the website. We still do have tons of... Um, Blister packs available, that's about it. In terms of sealed product, the Blastoise and Gyarados, or not the Blastoise and Gyarados, but the Blastoise and Venusaur battle decks. And that's really it for right now. And hopefully we're going to have more product available on the Shining Fate side uh, once more of it's made available. But uh, the big thing is that uh, Sunday uh, we're doing a breakthrough um, pack break. And then next Wednesday... We are doing, we're going to break this bad boy open. Uh, at the time of this filming, about half the box was already sold, but it is up on the website. The link is below. So that's coming up as well. Um, chasing those shiny cards uh, and the eggs in particular is the one that everybody seems to want. So I'm, uh, Christy and I are super looking forward to opening this. This is the biggest break that we've done. And then we've got some other um, big break opportunities coming up on the horizon. So it's just something a little bit different to, uh, to look out for, but um, yeah, we're still uh, we're still taking in bulk. If you want front of the line privileges for um, the next releases of Shining Fates, if you want uh, front of the line privileges for things like battle styles, building battle boxes. Um, so we we do offer on the pre order side of things once we have our allocations um, front front of the line privileges for people that have bulk in um, of at least fifty dollars. So if you have a gift card open of at least 50 bucks, you get, uh, you know, priority to those things and, and we'll make sure that those people have uh, that product. So get us your bulk because it helps. Um, on the, the on the website, the bulk form is there, everything that you need to do for that, if that's something that you're interested in. So um, also on the website, because I'm showing these off, are the PSA middleman rates. And you can see, I mean, 
lot of people are like, you guys are kind of new. I don't know about the grading, but, um, you know, we do deal with higher end cards. Like people do trust us with them. Um, I'm going to see if I can get the swirl on this one to pop. It's right there. Boy, yeah, that's, that's not as good. The Asmaril, I'll try and find the other one. I was talking when I showed that one, but that one's got a really, really cool swirl on the top of it. But these first edition energy cards are pretty sweet. Um, so, yeah, they, I mean, that's the other news this week, right? The PSA buyout was finalized. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing what happens there. I don't think quality control is going to go down. I think, if anything, it's going to go up. And then hopefully there's uh, they open a secondary, um, maybe an East Coast spot where cards can get graded um, and you know kind of get stuff through there because, um, yes, they need to make sure that everything's good, but I think the more cards that they can get through and the quicker they can get things through, um, ultimately the more money that they'll make. So um, this one does have a little bit of whitening at the top. But, um, yeah, if you're interested in CGC or PSA grading, it's all on the website or hit up the Golden War Total or myself on the Discord or Instagram, and we can steer you in the right direction there. But um, that's about it this week for the Pokemon world. Um, it's kind of quiet. Um, everybody's kind of on that Shining Fates hangover. Uh, people, you know, doing whatever they can to find it out in the wild. You know, so it's good luck to those of you. Um, you'll, you'll probably see it stocked at big box stores every week. Maybe just, you know, a little here, a little there. As long as those big box stores did not um, let their back closets raided. Um, so that's that's the big thing that I heard this week, too, is that a lot of the Walmarts, the employees were letting friends in the back to, uh, to take everything, and it actually never made it to shelves which is unfortunate. And then, um, you know, we did have all the storms and stuff this past week in the South or last week in the South and it kind of, uh, hampered shipping and stuff like that. So, uh, just be patient with, uh, whoever you bought your product from. And then, um, if you didn't get product right now, it's worth reaching out to them and asking if your product is secured. So that was it for the first editions with that card. Um, it is worth, uh, reaching out to them and just being like, hey, like, are you guys shipping this in waves? Um, you know, when can I expect it um, if you didn't get it on the first shot? But uh, this is one of my favorite cards right here, Shining Magic Heart from Neo Rev. But, um, yeah, reach out to them. Just see what's up. Um, most most peaceful people should have their numbers for all all the waves. So just, uh, yeah, just tap them and, and, and see what's up with that and, if they don't know if you're getting it or not, then that's kind of your red flag. Uh, at least with us, we know that uh, this is fairly clean, a little bit top heavy on the centering. Um, but uh, yeah, we know we know everything for our waves. The only things we don't know um, are the uh, premium collections and the mini tins. But uh, at least for the first four items, we did get uh, full on numbers for those. So. But hopefully everybody's uh, enjoying the uh, the cards because these are just absolute fire. This is one of my favorite cards. This Umbreon is just gorgeous, and there's a really nice swirl right here too. Those of you that are into the Hala swirls. Um, but I am pretty sure as of right now that all these cards will be available for sale once they come back. Um, so we, we're doing the grading, and then we're going to middleman the sales for them. So if, that's, if you're looking at liquidating... Uh, collections we can try and help you out with that as well but um, yeah this is this one's really cool um, a lot of these cards I've never seen in person so so not only is this a cool uh, you know submission for us to do for somebody else but it's just really cool to, to actually look at the cards and show them off and stuff too so that's it um, in the comments section down below please let us know um, if you have any questions if there's things that you want us to answer um, if there's information that you want, if there's stuff that you want us to research and try and get back to you on, um, I'm more than welcome. I'm, you know, always looking for new ideas with these videos. I really like, um, kind of giving you these weekly hydro pump updates. Um, I mean, that's, that's, it's us, right? Uh, what, what we have coming in, what we have going out, what's new on the horizon, what our allocations look like. Hopefully, uh, Battle Styles will be back up within the next couple weeks. I keep pressing the distributor to be like, hey, like, where's my numbers? Let's, let's get this going because this could be a rather hefty order because we did put in for a ton of boxes. 
a uh, bunch of ETBs, three pack blisters, bunches and bunches of uh, sleeve blisters. Uh, if people are just looking for individual pack stuff like that, so keep an eye out. Uh, again, I, I can't stress it enough. Join the Discord. Everything gets pushed through the Discord. Uh, sales for like super hard to get items are only going to be pushed through the Discord. And trust me, it's like almost like at the time of this filming, we're like probably just shy of like four fifty right now. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it's only going to make it harder to get product. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot of this is going to make it to the public, especially with as uh, fast as the Discord is growing. And we try and help those people out the best that we possibly can. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cards. I know this is a little bit different. I get a little bit sidetracked when I'm trying to show off really fancy cards and talk to you all about the happenings of Hydro Pump. Uh, but I really wanted to show these off uh, for the individual um, just so they can be like, oh, man, my cards are up there. But uh, keep in touch with us. Let us know what's going on. And until next time, everybody, happy pack bus.